hi everyone welcome back to my channel today is a vintage slash thrifted clothing haul now this is gonna need a little bit of explaining first real quick so I went thrifting today and found a ton of stuff and did a thrift with me video but you're actually not gonna see that until after this video so you have to subscribe or stay tuned to see the thrift with me portion and it'll make sense when you see that video why it came after this but you're in luck because today is a thrift haul okay simple as that today's a vintage thrifted clothing thrift haul okay let me let me just show you how big the bag is can you can you just so I went to my favorite thrift store today, and guess what? All clothes, 50% off. That never freaking happens. I did not know it was a sale day. I don't even know why it was a sale day. Just everything was 50% off. So I went crazy, and I bought everything that I thought was cool, or I thought I could resell that was cool, or, or myself and some stuff for a friend of mine which hint hint is the video that you're gonna see later i also want you to guess right now how much you think i spent on this entire bag of clothes plus three home decor items in the comments below and then i'm gonna tell you how much i spent at the end of this video it's insane okay my baby's gonna come watch and says, I haven't shown him what I found at the thrift store yet. This item looks very boring, but I bought it because on the tag, it says it was originally $225, okay? And it is wool. And this stuff? What the heck is that? But it's made in the USA and it's all hand loom knits by a beautiful company called Barbara Suzanne. That's just a woman called Barbara that knits at her home and makes tank tops probably. I found this jacket. This beautiful quilted jacket. Look at this. This is so beautiful for fall. And it's from Charter Club. But guess what? The shell is leather, you guys. Which, okay. I'm okay with buying secondhand leather. But if you're going to buy new leather, why? 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 why then i found this linen blazer which is actually from zara and it was made in morocco and it still has the tag on it and guess how much it was originally 130 dollars i can tell you right now i paid less than ten dollars for this i think i paid five dollars for it so gonna resell that i found a couple of very like y2k things and I don't usually like to resell Y2K just because that's not my personal style. But when I see a Y2K piece that is just like, I can't leave that behind. I grab it. I found this velvet mini skirt. Oh my gosh, it has the little slit in the side. Oh my gosh, and it has little shorts in it. It's a skirt, And it's from Hot Kiss, made in USA. So it's vintage. You know that's, that might even be from the 90s, okay? Next, I also, this is very Y2K. This one, not my personal style, but I knew one of you would love this. And it's just a little Y2K skirt. You don't really see a lot of like mini skirts. Then I found this really funky t-shirt. It's not vintage, I think it's new. It's just like a random t-shirt that has eyes and a fan. What is that? a band then I found this really cute little tiny little sweater that's vintage by Royal Robins outdoor travel clothing interesting it has kind of like a v-neck but I really liked the look of it and the knit and I just love small cropped sweaters for fall speaking of vintage look at this t-shirt this is so cute. It's by Jazz Sport California, but it seems like a really old t-shirt. The tag looks super old, and then the pattern just seems like it's straight out of like an 80s, 
Like they would be wearing this in um, out of like Stranger Things. Like one of them would be wearing this. So cute. Then I found this really pretty green shirt that is originally from a brand called Worthington. And I just really like the fit of this shirt. I think it'd be way cuter if it was cropped or something or tucked in, but the green on this is beautiful. Another very 90s, very Y2K item. This is originally from a brand called Hannah. Never heard of any of these brands. Look at this velvet velour. It looks black. It is purple, you guys. It is like bright purple. It is so much fun. It's a little mini dress. Like, come on, Mary Kay and Ashley homecoming party, VHS. Like they definitely wore this. They definitely wore this with a little choker. Okay, another little mini skirt I found. Just a very cute fall mini skirt that kind of looks like it would have pleats in it, but I'm not sure. And this is like super old. Look at this, it still has like the shopping tag on this. I think it looks like it's from the 50s or something, but I don't think they'd be wearing skirts this short. I don't know. Oh my gosh, I was so excited when I found this. I'm definitely gonna keep this for myself. Made in the USA, 100% cotton. Literally the brand is called Hot Cotton, but it is this cute little overshirt and the fabric just looks so luxurious. It's like very well made. And I like that it's oversized, but not too oversized because I have found another shirt that's similar to this in a green that I thought I would like, but it was way too oversized for my liking and I ended up getting rid of it. So, now I can replace it with this. Baba, what are you doing? I found this really cute plaid dress. I love the cut on this, it's like baby doll, and it's so, so, so long. Like. It is so cute and it has little daisies on it and it's also vintage and 100% cotton. We love that. Last two clothing items and then I want to show you those home goods that I got. I found this vintage Liz Claiborne dress. I don't know that it's vintage but it looks vintage and it just looks like such a 90s like mom dress which again this isn't really like for fall obviously but it's such a great dress and so beautiful that I couldn't leave it there okay last clothing item I was so excited when I found this I love this it's from Hampshire studio look at this beautiful sweater Jordy look at this Wow! isn't this so cute oh my gosh I love it the cream color let me show you the home goods I found this adorable, like mid-century modern looking mug. It's like this beautiful green color. And this was only 99 cents. And I love this. I think I'm gonna keep this for myself because I haven't found a green mug like this before. Then I found this little planter. And I'm pretty sure this is made in the USA. We've had one of these before. And this was only $2. Then I found this little casserole dish that is like hand dipped glaze it looks like and this was only two dollars as well and i feel like this i was right i was just gonna say i feel like this is made in france because this stamp looks familiar but i see a made in france stamp this matches a croc that i found too i think i'm gonna keep this for myself that's gorgeous <gasps> okay now, did you guys guess how much I spent on all of those clothes plus those three items? I'm gonna tell you right now. $58. I can't believe it. I'm like ecstatic, ecstatic. And I'm so excited to send my friend the things I found her. You have to stay tuned for that thrift swap, okay? Oh my gosh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I need to go, you guys. I need to figure out what I'm going to send my friend. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned.